All right, Shalom. I want to give all praise, glory, and honor to the Heavenly Father in the name of His only begotten Son and in the name of the Holy Spirit. Yahweh, Bahashim Yahweh Shai, Bahashim Racha HaKadosh. Yahweh being the name of the Heavenly Father whom the world calls God and Jehovah and Yahweh. Yahweh Shai being the name of His only begotten Son whom the world calls Jesus Christ and Yeshua. And Racha HaKadosh is Hebrew for the Holy Spirit. For as it is commanded of me, I come unto you in the name of the Father, and in the name of the Son, and in the name of the Holy Spirit. Giving double honors unto the apostles and elders of Great Millstone. And peace and blessings are due to the hopeful elect members of the nation of Israel. Those of you who are of Negroid and native Indian descent of North, Central, and South America, the Caribbean Islands, Alaska and Canada, also spread throughout the four corners of the earth due to the scattering for our iniquity, okay, by the Heavenly Father Himself. And to the elect of you, I say Shalom. Uh, real quick, um, I just want to uh, speak on, on something, man. Uh, on how the anger of the Heavenly Father is hot against Israel, okay? More specifically in this time against two-thirds of the nation of Israel. The Lord Yahweh, okay, and His Son, Yahweh Shai, anger is hot against the nation of Israel. Now, um, I've been reading through the book of Judges, and uh, it gives the, the narration on why uh, we as a nation are in this situation, how we was brought over on cargo slave ships, okay, how the northern kingdom being that they was already established on this side of the world, how the Edomites came, slaughtered, and conquered, and uh, uh, took their land from them. Okay? How we was made to serve hardcore slavery. Okay? Both in America and in other parts of the world, man. All that is the anger of the Heavenly Father being hot against our nation, man. Why? Because throughout our lives, man, throughout our generations, all we all we have done was go a horn. We played the harlot. We served these other nations' idols rather than serving the true and living power, man. Okay? You chose to serve the gods of the heathen rather than the power of heaven, man. And that is why he sold us into the hand of our enemy. All right. Now I want to speak on a, a Hebrew word. The Hebrew word being um, makar. Makar. Okay, ma ka ra, makar. Okay. Now, um, I was just like I said, I was been reading through the book of Judges, and this uh, word uh, stood out to me. Okay. I was reading a particular passage, how it, how it read, you know, um, and the sons of Israel, they turned again. And serve the gods of the Ammonites, serve the gods of the uh, of the Moabites, serve the gods of the uh, the Zidonians, the Philistines. Okay, and the anger of Yahweh was hot against them. Okay, and He sold them into the hands of the, uh, the Philistines, into the hands of the uh, 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 of Amalek. Okay, but that word "sold" stood out to me. All right. 
And as I said before, it goes to the, it goes, it comes from, excuse me, it comes from the Hebrew word makar, all right? Which means to be given over to death, okay? To deliver into the power of an enemy, all right? So when we as a nation go a whoring, okay, and turn from the righteous path of following the Most High, all right. He gives us unto, unto death, man. He gives us over to death. All right. He gives us over to death and he gives us into the hand of our enemy, man. Fast forward to this present time. We are still found in the hand of our enemy, man. All right. We're subject to uh, this man's world or subject to this uh, man's loss his way of living okay we're not even looked at as a nation okay we don't we don't even look at each other as a uh, brother and sister man until this day we are dying both northern and southern kingdom, and we were, we're dying by by the uh, by the masses, man. And all that is because the heavenly Father's anger is hot against our nation, man. But in the last days, in these last days, man, He is uh, uh, smiling upon the elect, okay, because the elect. Is who his son Yahweh Shai died for, man. When he looks down on this planet Earth, and he he looks upon the elect of the nation of Israel, he sees uh, the blood of his son uh, covering them, man. And the elect are those who are not only taking heed to the words of our Lord and Savior Yahweh Shai; they're taking heed. To uh, uh, what our forefather Moses spoke unto us by uh, by way of the heavenly Father, by way of the uh, the Holy Spirit, man, which is which is scribed down in the book of Deuteronomy, the thirtieth chapter, and I'm gonna pull that Deuteronomy, um, <clears throat> Deuteronomy chapter thirty. And uh, verses 19 and 20, man. Because this is what the elect is doing right now. Okay? This is what the elect is doing right now. This is Deuteronomy chapter 30, beginning at verse 19. It says, I call heaven and earth to record this day against you, that I have set before you life and death. Okay? The Heavenly Father has set before us life and death, man. Life and death. And as it is written in the book of uh, Sirach, uh, roughly paraphrasing, uh, life and death is set before us and... Uh, we we going to choose whichever one we like, okay? Uh, roughly paraphrasing, all right? But we know today, man, that that uh, uh, two thirds of our people they're they're uh, um, they're married unto death, man, because of their way of living. But back in back in the word, it says, "I call heaven and earth to record this day against you, that I have set before you life and death." Blessing and cursing. Therefore, choose life that both thou and thy seed may live, man. Okay? Now, what is life? What is choosing life? Choosing life is choosing the Most High, man. Choosing life is believing on His only begotten Son, Yahweh Shah, because He is the way, the truth, and the life, man. He is the, uh, uh, the light. That the elect 
is drawn unto, man. Our Lord and Savior, Yahweh Shai, man. Okay? Verse 20. That thou mayest love Yahweh thy God, and that thou mayest obey his voice, and that thou mayest cleave unto him. Okay? For he is thy life and the length of thy days, that thou mayest dwell in the land which Yahweh swear unto thy fathers, to Abraham, to Isaac, and to Jacob, to give them. Okay? So our mission, the elect, is uh, uh, believing on the Most High. The elect is believing on His only begotten Son. They're obeying the Heavenly Father's voice by taking heed and believing in Yahweh Shai in these last days, man. Okay? But when the Heavenly Father sends His Son back, man, His anger is going to consume two-thirds of our nation, though, man. Because they're slated unto death. Okay? But the elect, your job is to continue in your repentance, man. Your job is to uh, continue in obedience to the best of your ability. All right? Your job is to uh, 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 prosper in spirit while you're still here in this wicked land known as Babylon the Great, man. So the Heavenly Father's anger won't be hot against you. All right? Return unto the Lord, man. Return unto the Lord. Now, that was just on my spirit to, uh, to speak on that, man. Um, you know, like I said, I, I've been doing some reading and it was just it was just on my mind, man. The Heavenly Father sold us, okay? He gave us over to death, man, as a nation. But he's bringing the elect back to life, man, by way of his only begotten son, Yahweh Shai Hamashayak, man. So repent and believe on the son, Yahweh Shai. Proclaim the name of Yahweh Shai, all right? For there is no way unto the Father except by way of the son, man. Shalom.